<laughs> okay, so here are the lower collars for the beehive valve springs. Um, here are two that I've already made work. Um, for the stock valve guide, it's got a little clip right here. This is actually a valve guide for a, not a KLR650. It is for a uh, KZ1000 police bike. Uh, Kibblewhite makes them. Uh, they're like five thousandths difference in length from here to here. So, I mean, like, it's the same guide, really. I mean, it's like half a thousandth bigger by measuring measurements, which is fine. Just make them go in a little bit tighter. Anyway, these are meant to fit the stock guides, so you can see that the step doesn't go in there like it's supposed to. So I'm just taking these, and I'm kind of killing ants with sledgehammers here. But anyway, I put these in my lathe, and I board them out just a little bit so they'll actually fit. It's not a real, I mean, it's a couple thousands clearance. It looks like more because those steps are so skinny. But um, anyway, so that's that's one thing you got to always, always check. I always check them before I put them in the head. That way I don't have to sit there and like take them in and out with a pair of tweezers on one like this because you have to go down where the buckets are on a Triumph. It's not so bad or anything that's not bucket and shim valve train. Anyway, um, more on this later. Okay, killing ants with sledgehammers in action. Uh, you see it? Yeah, okay, there we go. What's that? There is the collar in the lathe. A little bitty tiny. There's a little bitty tiny boring bar, and my tool post stuck all crooked and whatever. And uh, I'm running at 400 RPM and uh, feeding as slow as the lathe will feed. So I've already got the diameter set. I just use the, when they're that close, I just use the take out like three to five thousandths at a time and just use the guide as a go no go gauge so just stop it every time and check with the guide just slide the guide in and out of there and uh yeah so That. There you go. Hey guys, Gordy Roth again. Um, okay, so I got the beehive valve springs in, and um, I will show you how to test. Okay, with the paperwork that came with them, it says the installed height is inch 260. So everything is going to settle 15 thousandths once it's run in. So with the locks and everything, what you do is you take the valve. And you stick the valve in the head. And then you measure with your dial caliper. Put the bottom of it right here on the head of the valve. And you measure straight down to the base of the bucket. And that gives me a total distance of inch 480. And then you put the, take the valve out. And put the locks and the collars on the valve. Let me do that real fast. So inch 480, and then you measure from the top here down to here. Call off the total distance of the valve. And that gives you inch 300. And then Inch 260 is what we're shooting for. This is 60 thousandths thick here. So you subtract that. So that's inch 240. So we're within five thousandths of where we're supposed to be. And here are the valve springs. They install at 80 pounds. I measured them on the spring tester and they are like 82 pounds. So they'll settle a little after they're run in for a minute. So this should be perfect for the intake and um, on the exhaust they sent me. 30 thousandths shims and 20 thousandths shims. I'm sorry, they sent me 30 thousand, yeah, 30 thousand shims, 20 thousand shims, and something else. 30 thousand shims, 20 thousand shims, and 30 thousandths lower retainers. So if I need those for the exhaust, I'll use those for the exhaust. But for the intakes, the 60s are great. Okay.
Okay, another thing I found out. Uh, here's one valve spring installed. Went in rather nicely. Uh, the other thing is you got to put the lower retainer on there before you put the valve stem seal on because these stupid steps and the guides are so tiny, they're smaller than the valve seal. So you have to put this rather lovely Kibble White double lip red Viton seal on there afterwards. The other thing you have to watch is you just stick it in there and pump it on. My fingers will work. But one thing I found out you have to watch is this will go. There it goes. Come on. Please. Ready, please? Thank you. Okay. The other thing you have to watch is if you look in there, it's kind of hard to see. There it goes. <laughs> that little wire clip around there is out of its groove. I don't know why it does that, but anyway, you have to take a little dental pick and push on it, and you'll you'll feel it fall back in there. But if you leave it out of there, uh, that seal will probably work itself up off there, and then you'll have it smoking like a freight train, and you won't know why. And that will be why. Okay, um, so the exhausts are exactly the same, inch 480 as the intake. So just the same procedure for the, in the exhaust as the intake. So that is the end of that. Here are the two... Fell springs in there like that, and the exhausts are yet to be put in. But just the floor collar, and that's 60,000, so I don't need these other ones. But they were nice enough to include them, and um, RD Valve Spring is probably one of the best companies in the country to get springs from, and they will treat you very good.